purl two. Knit one, purl two. Knit, uh, picking bastard, <laughs> purl Bailey. <laughs> Darn neighbor kids with their Neil Sedaka records. <laughs> Give them what for? Kids, no, you can't. Kids, uh-uh. <gasps> oh, oh my goodness. Something must have crashed. Either that or a couple of those moles were experimenting in their underground lab and they blew up the joint. <laughs> oh no, this must have come from the sky which means it can fly. It's an unidentified flying thing, a UFT. <laughs> oh, my. Maybe it contains a cute little woolly creature with a caustic wit like Alf or Ray Walston. <laughs> or better yet, maybe it's filled with sweet, chewy candy. I mean... <gasps> 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 God, it is an alien. Sweet Georgia Brown, there is life in outer space. <laughs> and it's really foxy. It doesn't look injured, just a little disoriented. Or drunk off its ass. <laughs> Get inside. Come on up. Uh, can you hear me, little one? trying to make contact with me. Oh. oh, think of all that he can teach us, all the wisdom he can share. This is a wonderful new beginning for mankind. Oh, well, maybe this is his way of saying hello. A highly advanced super being screening that our puny minds can't comprehend. Well, how do you do to you, too, my friend? And welcome to our greasy, rotten planet. have all just been a sweet dream. <laughs> no, I'm still filled with a warm glow inside <laughs> and the remnants of last night's knish. <laughs> I must now face the cruel reality that man is alone in the universe. <laughs> Darn it. Yeah! Trying to reach out to me. Here, would you like to find home? <laughs> I just don't know what that means. Do you want me to dial for you? <laughs> oh. Oh. A gift. Oh, thank you, my friend. Thank you, but I'm afraid I don't have anything to give to you. I'll try to return your beautiful Vulcan custom. <laughs> Gus, Gus, prepare yourself for the feel-good experience of a lifetime. Gee, <laughs> <laughs> what is it? Some kind of filthy. 
filthy Rottweiler? <laughs> oh, Gus, it's a space alien. Maybe he entered our galaxy through a black hole. It smells like he came through a sewer hole. Let me have a look. Kid, I hate to disappoint you, but this is just that sick kid from down the block. He must have gotten out of his bubble. Gus, I pulled him out of the wreckage myself. As if that weren't obvious from the many love nips on my face. No, trust me, he's a highly advanced creature from another world. Well, maybe you're right. I'm pretty sure that kid down the block had braces. <laughs> I'm keeping him. Damn, I just mopped this floor last April. Next time that thing is gonna blow, put some damn newspapers down. Jeez, how can you be such a neat freak at a time like this? Don't you realize his every nuance is teaching us volumes? <laughs> I'm gonna name him Spewy. Get it? It's an acronym for special person entering the world egg yolks. <laughs> Uh, you get the drift. Just get him the hell out of here. He's stinking up the place. Yeah. Just go away! We're busy with something vile! Open up. It's the government. Oh, no, it's the government. They found out about Spewy and they come to take him away. Relax, kid. They could be here to bust me for a zillion things. Still, you better stash Wretch Boy in the next room. No, come with me. Hiya, boys. What can I do you for? We're from a special agency that's none of your business. All you need to know is we're searching the area for something that doesn't concern you. Yeah, and it's not from outer space. Uh, well, I guess the rat's out of the bag. Okay, here's the deal. We've had a report from some ham radio geek that a spaceship crashed in the area. And even though aliens don't officially exist, we have to check it out. And, frankly, we're always looking for an excuse to get a good cover-up going. Well, we haven't seen a thing. Have we, Gus? No, no, I don't see the The hell is that? Oh, uh, that's just my house cat. He's a little under the weather. You know, you got to hold him a bad pork chop. <laughs> oh, listen to the sad little pussy. <laughs> well, why don't I just go see if I can't shush him up just a... <laughs> Now, shush there, Snowball. Shush. That's a good house kitty. <laughs> Just, uh, how big and how sick is this cat? Well, uh, that actually wasn't the cat. Uh, that was me. Ooh. Oh. Ooh. You buy that, right? Frankly, either way, it's disgusting. Let's get the hell out of here. Oh, phew, oh, that was close. Oh, for a second there, Gus, I thought you were going to give away Spewy. Are you kidding? If the government wants him that bad, just think what a circus will pay for it. Better yet, Michael Jackson. This reeking bag of goo is a gold mine. Gus. It's okay, it's okay. Daddy didn't mean it. He's just erecting emotional walls because he's afraid you might leave us, that's all. But... Oh, look how happy that made him, Gus. He's making pudding for us. Yeah, you never know what's going to come out of this thing next. Hey, it does look a little like pudding. I wonder if I could sell him to Bill Cosby. Gus, quick, grab a mug. We don't want to offend him. Get away from that. That's not a Mr. Softy machine. That's some kind of alien gunk. Or worse yet, some of that low-fat yogurt crap. Mm. Mm. Try nectar of the gods. <laughs> Maybe he's come here to end world hunger. Just get it the hell out of here so I can make some calls. With any luck, I can get a bidding war going between hard copy and a current affair. I think I'll take Spewy out and introduce him to my old high school buddy, the Pope. <laughs> Hi, Pope. I'd like you to meet my friend Spewy. You could? <laughs> Oh, look, he likes... Oh, watch your yarmulke. Oh. Bite him back, because he likes that. He likes you. Friends, you're just in time. These gentlemen are from Michael Jackson's private zoo. This is Peebo Griffin and Nick the Keeper Gelati. So, where's the alien? Well, he's resting right now underneath his blanket. But I must tell you, gentlemen, that he is not for sale. What? 
Ah, uh, don't worry. The kid's just gotten a little attached. It's for sale, all right. Chris, you've got to think about what's best for the creature. In a zoo, he'll have all kinds of other little animals that he can torment. Well, let's just take a look. Absolutely sure that he gets a good home. Now, it's important to bathe them every four hours, being very careful with his special parts, which I have yet to determine exactly where they are. Ah, I think he swallowed my ear. <laughs> Forget it, man. This thing is right. Wait, fellas, fellas, wait, wait. He's just not used to our water. Little Pepto, and he's fine. Next up, pudding. Damn, they were my last hope. Turns out the circus already has an alien, and it can juggle and get shot out of a cannon. Oh well, maybe I can still squeeze a little beer money out of the government. Yes, you can't turn him in. What if his friends come back to rescue him? Kid, nobody's coming back for that. They may be nuts in space, but they're not that nuts. Gus, the government is such a cold, unfeeling bureaucracy. I mean, they might tease Spewy about the size of his bottom. Or worse, make him work in the post office. Don't be ridiculous. They'll take a few pictures, maybe cut his head off. Now, Gus, I'm not a fool. I know that that could cause permanent damage. Look, you have got to open your mind. More importantly, your heart. Come on. Spewy's here to spread compassion and hope to our world. He's a disgusting, puking bastard, and his pointy-eared butt is out of here. <laughs> Hello, Gus. Yeah, I got that little space monkey you're looking for. Right, 1804 York Lane. Yeah, and if you don't want it to accidentally get away, you better bring your wallet. <laughs> wow, they were close. Go away. We were just joking. Oh, there's no alien here. April Fools. Come on, let us in. We just want to take some pictures and maybe cut its head off. <laughs> Come on, Spewy. We've got to get out of here. Run. Run like the wind, Spewy. <laughs> Come on, let us in. All right, pal, where's the alien? Ah, that kid just dragged him out the back door. <laughs> yeah, right. You know what we do to people who make crank calls to the government? No, I... <laughs> It's true, Liz. I got everything repainted, repolished, and steam cleaned for $50. Well, they were immigrants. They didn't know any better. I know. <laughs> oh, excuse me, Liz. Chris Peterson just showed up. Now I also have to call the fumigator. Yeah. Sharon. Oh, Sharon, I need your help. What's going on? What have you got under the blanket? Sugar and spice and everything nice. But you can call him Spewy. Whatever it is, stinks so bad it makes my eyes water. Or is that you? Sharon, that's the smell of fear. We're being chased by very, very, very bad, 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 bad men that want to do very, very bad, 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 bad things to us. That's why we need your help. All right, Chris, calm down now. Calm down. God knows what their fiendish minds may have concocted. Maybe they want to chop us up and put us into jars of formaldehyde and then keep us in separate cabinets so we never, ever, ever see each other again. Really? Well, just who are these nice people? Well, Sharon, the government. You, you, you mean the ones right down the street? Mm. You wouldn't happen to have their number just by any chance, would you? Well, yes, as a matter of fact, I do. Right here on this card. I keep it with me so I don't accidentally call it. Chris, I, I want you to feel free to hide out here for as long as you need to, all right? But will you just excuse me for a moment because I have to go in the kitchen to make a private and totally unrelated phone call. <laughs> Certainly, I understand it. Bless you, Sharon. Bless you. You're an angel. Mwah. Hi, Chris. What's under the blanket? Oh, this is it. Ah, this is the magic moment when the children, oh, the dear, sweet, innocent children, get to experience the magic of a creature from another world. <laughs> get ready, Amy. Get ready to be transformed by love and by magic. the children to understand this special language. Thank you, my babies, Molly. Don't you see? 
you, Sharon? He's teaching us about love. <laughs> you ruined my living with you, jackass! Well, congratulations, Peterson. You finally found something more disgusting than you are! <laughs> Government. You call the government, Sharon? At two, Sharon. At two. <laughs> Come on, Spewy. We'll run away together. Come on, my special friend. No one understands us here. Come on. <laughs> Come on, Spewy. Come on, let's fly. You and me, forever. Come on. Let's fly across the big, fat moon. Here we go. What the hell happened to you? You try and make out with it? Oh, no, Gus. Now, Spewy was taking me flying, and, well, we hit a downdraft. Either that or he just doesn't fly. But who ever heard of a space alien who couldn't magically fly? Is it my imagination, or does Spewy look a tad off? <laughs> no, it seems okay to me. Jeez, you. <laughs> Look, his pudding's an odd color. Hmm. And it tastes kind of garlicky, especially after about the fifth helping. And listen to this. You're imagining things, you worry wart. There's nothing wrong with that thing that a few well placed corks wouldn't fix. Jeez, how can you be so casual at a time like this? Don't you realize our baby needs our help? We've got to get Spewy some medicine. <coughs> Chris, this is Earth. You can't get medicine for a space alien. Gus, hello in there. There's a new thing nowadays. It's called a supermarket. <laughs> Where the hell have you been? <laughs> My only concern, and please don't take this the wrong way, because you know I do simply adore you, is that while I'm out, you'll sell Spewy to the government like a common two-bit weasel bastard. Relax. In the shape he's in, I couldn't get Jack spit for him. <laughs> I knew you'd come around. Go ahead and give him a kiss. Oh. Kiss him. Jeez. <laughs> All right. You guys have a good time now. See you later. <laughs> well, Mr. Naysayer, Mr. Cynic, Mr. Food Eater, looky what I got here. <laughs> in regular and non-drowsy formulas. <laughs> so, where's the apple of my thighs? The spewster. Um, yeah, about that kid. Uh... <gasps> you sold him to the government. I did not. I said I wouldn't, didn't I? Gus Borden is a man of his word. Jeez, Gus, I'm, I'm sorry. I, I apologize. I don't know what came over me. <laughs> so where is Spewy? Uh, I beat him to death with a rake. <laughs> Sorry, kid, but I had no choice. The thing barfed on me one time too often. I was starting to get a skin rash. So you can clearly see it was simply a matter of self-defense. Oh, no. Oh, my spewy is no more. Kid, I'm all for a suitable period of grieving, but enough is enough. You know what they say, tragedy plus time equals comedy. <laughs> Life has no meaning for me anymore. I don't care if I live or if I die or if I get really, really fat. Watch. Mm. 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 There, see? <laughs> so, where are the last unearthly remains of my spewy? You're eating them. <laughs> uh, spewy? <laughs> really? You know, I'd probably be a tad more upset if he wasn't so darn tasty. Ain't he, though? Mm. See, I couldn't see letting perfectly good meat go to waste, what with road kills down and all. Damn pedimers with their reflective collars. Mm. You simply got to give me the recipe for this. It is divine. Sure. And the great thing is, there's no need to baste, because it's self-saucing. Boy, mm. well, it's kind of ironic. Spewy used to melt my heart. Now he melts in my mouth. <laughs> All right, boys, no more games. We know you've got the alien, and we want it. Yeah, on a platter. Well, that's convenient. 
Grab a fork and pull up a chair. God, you mean you're eating it? Mm. <laughs> Are we pigs or what? <laughs> oh, well, I guess it's okay, as long as you promise to send us the leftovers. And be sure to use Glad Wrap for freshness. You got it, sure. <laughs> Hey, you know, Gus, I finally realize now what Spewey's special message was to our planet. Mm. Be happy... And eat well. <laughs> Gus, what are you doing up? Hey, are you thinking what I'm thinking? Yep, if he's half as good cold. <laughs> let's dig in, compadre. Wait, let's make a pact not to finish him tonight. Because he's going to make some mighty great sandwiches. <laughs> Sorry, I've been meaning to clean in there. Gus, it's the ghost of Spewey. He's come back to haunt us. That's no ghost, it's the real thing. He must have regenerated from his own leftovers in an accelerated cloning process. How'd you figure that out? It wasn't hard, he's still covered with A1 sauce. Are you mad because we ate you? Look, <laughs> oh, Guts. Guts, it's the mothership. Look, they've come back for it. They're levitating Spewey back up into the ship using highly advanced technology that we can barely understand. Yeah, big rope. I guess they're more nuts than I thought. Or maybe just hungry. <laughs> Goodbye, Spewy. Goodbye, my sweet, tender, juicy, mouth-watering friend. <laughs> 